welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the high voltage battery test. I finally got it to successfully complete. Uh, this is my third attempt. I'll tell you about all that at the end when we discuss this and review it. Um, but we're in the car right now and I'm going to show you how you do the test. I'm going to give you some tips and advice. So hopefully you don't have a failed attempt because it eats up a day, 24 hours, a lot of times. It eats up a lot of time to do it and not succeed. So I'm going to hopefully help you so that you don't have to run into the same problems I did the first few tries. Um, but the first, before I start, I want to just say again, thanks everyone for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button, like, share. If there's anyone you know who might benefit from this, share the video with them. Comment. I answer all comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, so, yeah, just thanks in general. I really do appreciate it. We're getting close to that 1,000 subscriber threshold. Everybody helps. So please, if you haven't, click that subscribe. Okay, so let's turn the camera around here. How you do this. Let's get it all set. Okay, so let me um, get this ready here. Let's see. So what you're going to do is, okay, so the first thing is you have to be in service mode in order to, uh, in order to do the test, you have to be in service mode, okay? Other thing is you have to be below 50% state of charge and you have to be plugged into your level two charger. So you gotta be plugged into your charger and you gotta be below 50% state of charge. Uh, in this case, I'm at 12. I'm not actually gonna run the test. I'm gonna go through it and start it and then I'll cancel it. But I was at 11% when I ran it successfully. So we're gonna talk about that. So you press software, you press and hold the model and there'll be like a little blink like that. And then you're going to put in the access code to get into service mode. Now, before I type this, I just want to tell you, this is all designed for service personnel. So you're going to do, if you do this, do it at your own risk. I am just another Tesla owner, just like everybody else. Um, it is a feature that Tesla puts in. So I'm confident I've run it. Like I said, this is the third, I've run it three times, twice it failed, third time it succeeded. Um, so, but run it at your own risk. So the password to enter service mode is service, S-E-R-V-I-C-E. -E. And you hit enter and it's telling you it should only be enabled, like I said, by service personnel, uh, but I'm gonna enable it anyway. And you're gonna see, it, you get the red outline and it says service mode, right? And then in a second it loads. So now what we want is we want the high voltage and the HV system. So now we're at this. Now, for whatever reason, uh, I guess there's a, um, like a timed, you know, um, it doesn't let you run it again because right here I can't run it again. It won't let me, it would say battery health with a button here and you push it and it says I last measured it 35, three, uh, three days ago and I got my batteries at 85%. I'm going to talk about that at the end of how many miles I have, how old my car is, how I drive. But before I do, I wanted to show you this. So when you're here, you would see service mode, uh, battery test or health test. You press it. And then it'll bring up another descriptor and it tells you to press up on a directional, press the brake, and then also have the key activated. Now, my phone is my key. So when I did it, as long as you have your phone with you, you don't have to worry about that step. Um, you're just going to press the brake, press up, which is your right turn signal, and hold it. And then you'll see the message box change to enabling and you have to hold it. And then I think it's 10 seconds. I don't remember. And then it says enabled. And once it's enabled, then it, it, you know, you can, you can begin it and you can run the test. Now, again, apparently it won't let me run it. It's, there must be like a, uh, an interval because I've, it won't, it's not, the options on here and I am below 50% and I am plugged into my charger. So I'm not sure why it won't, but I just want to show you what you do after you're finished to get out. You'll see in the video, I show another way, but the easiest way is right here. You press and hold this and it exits you out of service mode. Okay. So now I'm going to go back and show you what the results were and we're going to talk about it and then we'll, uh, we'll say, we'll, 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 we'll uh, wrap it up after that. Okay, so we're back in the house. So a couple tips. When you're going to run the um, battery test, what I realized was, so basically what the test does is it drains your battery to, to I assume, zero all the way down. And then after that, it charges it up to 100%. Now, I've been told it'll automatically charge you to 100%. It doesn't matter. Um, and then it'll give you the health. But like I said, I had it fail twice. So what I noticed was, one, turn off scheduled charging. Because what happened with me was, you know, I ran it at the end of the day because, you know, you have to discharge the battery to below 50%. I was at both. Every time I did it, I was under 20%. 
Um, and so I, I enabled the test. The problem is by the time it finished discharging all the way, it was after midnight and my scheduled charge was the next day. And I think the test, if it doesn't, there's like a time limit. If it can't start charging, it kicks out the test. And then I had a whole kind of, I had a dead car all day and it took way more than, you know, than it should have. So that's one thing. Turn off scheduled charging. Just let it, as soon as you plug it in, let it start charging. Um, the second thing is, um, I, or I put it up to 100%. Even though it's supposed to do it, um, I did that anyway. I slid it to 100% to be sure. Now, so what does that all mean? So once you plug the car in, it's going to, since you've turned off scheduled charging, it's going to begin charging. But as soon as you go into service mode, like I showed you previously, and you start the test, that charging will end, and then it'll, you'll hear it gets very loud. Fans turn on and everything in order to discharge the car as quickly as it can. And then you, you can leave, you know, you leave the car. You don't have to sit in it. Obviously it takes, uh, you know, they say up to 24 hours, but I'm going to give you my experience. So my experience was that I, um, I started the charge around, I believe it was, uh, actually hang on one second. Let me check. Okay. So I started the test at 4 PM at 11% state of charge and it was 4 PM. It was complete by the next morning at 5.30 a.m. At least that's when I noticed it. So what, that's uh, 13 and a half hours. Now it may have finished at five or even at four, I'm not sure. I woke up and checked and it was, it was the app said it was at 100%. I went outside and I see the results, which are uh, in this, the next clip, which I'm gonna show you. Um, and so yeah, so, so that's how long it took, okay? Uh, for me. Now, the other times, because I didn't have, I, I messed up with the uh, uh, scheduled charging, it took all day, it was dead, and it was terrible. So you want to just be careful. Do those tips, like I said, turn off scheduled charging, as well as um, um, slide it up to 100% just to be safe, right? So that's what I did. And then I got the results, which I'm going to show you in this next clip. Okay. So the battery, high voltage battery test has completed. Uh, this is the third attempt I've done. And you can see the result is my battery is at 85% health. So I've lost 15%. I've had the car two years for about 69,700 miles. I'll check the exact amount. Um, but you can see I'm at 85% battery health. Um, so that's the result. Okay, so as you saw, and as you saw in the beginning, I got eight, my car is at 85% battery health, okay? Now, so my car is a 2021 uh, Tesla Model 3. It is now January 30th of 2023. Uh, and so I took delivery of my car on December 14th of 21. So I've had the car for two years and around two weeks of when I ran the test. I ran it over the weekend. So two years, two weeks. Uh, and in two years, two weeks, I've lost 15%. Now, um, I commute a lot. I commute between New Jersey and Delaware. It's about two and a half hours each way. And I do the round trip three times a week. I drive a lot. And that means I have to charge it high a lot because in the winter, you know, I need a lot of, a lot of uh, power. So I have charged and plus I travel a lot. I've driven it to Canada. I've driven it to North Carolina. I've taken it on a lot of long, long trips. So I've charged to 100%, you know, a good number of times uh, in the life of the car. I mean, a good number. Probably if I had to guess, I don't know, 50 times over two years or, or around about there. But I also often charge to like 95%. That's regular, otherwise 90 90 at 85 is what I like to do, but you know, regularly, but uh, I mean, with all these commutes fairly regularly, I'm charging it to 95%, 100%, sometimes 90, depending. Uh, so I do a lot of charging, you know, high, which may account for why I've lost 15% or I have, or in other words, why I have 15% degradation of the battery. But overall, I'm still happy with it. I still get a lot of range when I, when I charge as much as I need to. Um, I don't know how accurate that 85% is. Um, I haven't done the math, but you know, um, you know, as far as the miles I get when I do charge to hundred percent, cause I haven't, I've been avoiding it. 
Uh, next time I do, I'll do the math. Maybe I'll mention it in a future video. Um, but that's how you do the test. So overall, that's the results. I'm at, uh, after two years and two weeks, I have, uh, no wait, two years, one month and two weeks, right? Two years, one month and two weeks. I've got 15% battery degradation and I'm still at 85% battery health. Uh, love the car after two years, love it. Uh, it has saved me a bundle, especially with the new feature in the app. They show you now you can see annually what you've saved um, by not buying gas and it's amazing. It's thousands of dollars. So I love the car. I have 70,000 miles, 69,000 something on it. That's one thing I wanted to mention. So after those two years, I have 69,000 and change miles. So a lot of miles, as you can see, I drive a lot in two years. And so I'm at, that's probably all a part of why in my case, I'm at 85% battery health. Now I also have been told or have read that it levels off so that I, I don't expect in the next two years, I don't expect to lose another 15% because it supposedly levels off. We'll see if that's true. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I do updates all the time. You know, and, and you'll, you'll, you'll see that and you'll know where it is. So, yeah, so that's my experience with a successful battery health test. So thanks again to everyone who has subscribed. It is tremendously appreciated. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button. We're getting close to 1,000 subscribers. That's a big threshold. Really trying to, uh, to do that. So if you haven't yet, please click subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. I appreciate all the people who watch my channel. Subscribe, like comment. I answer all the comments. Um, yeah. So thanks. And we'll see you next time.